Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lena. And your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in here with Empire. Don't forget, if you're not a family member, which simply means you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead yeah. and do so. Ain't no need in y'all click coming back every guy doing week and y'all don't subscribe. Yeah. And then so go ahead and hit the well. bell. That'll let you know when we drop another one. And um, if you're a family member, y'all know what to go ahead and do. And don't forget to like and all that good stuff. Rate up, rate down, don't even matter. Yeah. It just matters that you're here. All right. We're going to do this kind of quick light because we're actually behind schedule today. We have some yeah. things to take care of today. So, uh, I'm just going to say around the box, this episode messed me up. I was, I guess I'm, I'm trying still, to get myself together. Yeah, I'm, I almost want to just go straight to that part. We're going to get there, baby. But I'm going to let, get you, there. I'm gonna let right, you get there. We're going to get there. All right, so I'm going to brush through some of the stuff real quick only because, and I'm not going to hear on everything. I don't think. Okay. <laughs> so we got Lucius. Lulu said that he wants to develop a 360 degree sensory experience for the 20 for 20 because he for wants every track to experience what it is to be him to What's live going in, on in his head. <laughs> and okay, so he sold that idea to Cookie. So of course if he sells it to Cookie, then everybody else has to fall in line. So they're having a board meeting and he's telling everybody, you know, telling the children, "Hey, this is what I want to do." Blah 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 blah. Definitely trying to get Jamal on board, and Jamal was like, "Y'all want me to get on board to do a record for twenty for twenty, but y'all mm. not trying to get boy with my music with the kind of music that I want." You know what? I'll do what I gotta do, but on the side, he gonna be doing what he wants to do. Yep. But this is what see. You know, I'm still on my Andre kick, right? I'm so sick of how they treat Andre, but then when Andre is back on the inside just a little bit. He got to fix everything yep. and now, do everything. For now everybody. he got to convince the boy to spend the money. For your idea. Tell me so because you speak the boy's language. language. Okay. Andre went ahead and got on it. I'm going to skip ahead. Some of this stuff ain't going to be in order, but it's going to make six at the end. I promise you it will. Hey. Andre is trying to get in touch with this guy from the board named Leonard. So actually, it must be that Leonard has the position that he needs to go through Leonard to get to the rest of the board members. Leonard's secretary keeps telling Andre, hey, I've been trying to get in touch with him. I've been giving him your message, Mr. Lyon. He hasn't been answering. You know he's not here. Andre knew that it was bull. Yeah, he knew something was going on. So Andre said, you know what? He even told the secretary, I'm just going to pop up over there and figure out what's going on. My God, don't yeah. myself. So he's in the car. On his way down there to go see Leonard, he sees Leonard walking down the street, which let Andre know that that bastard that been in there the whole time. Yeah. He's he ducking, ducking me. me. So yeah. he pulls over to the side. He was like, Leonard, ho, ho, ho. Let's cut the crap. What's going on? Leonard said, listen. I'm going to say too much without saying too much, but this whole exchange of board members and the resignation of Eddie, it's not sitting well with it, with everybody. With, with the board, yeah. So y'all got a problem on your hands. And I'm not going to be able to fix this for you. So Andre said, all right. You know, he put on this thinking cap because he knows he something. Knew something right? Yeah, he knew something was cooking. And he knew that somebody had their hand in the mud puddle just mulling it oh, up yeah. water. So we had this moment where we had Blake and Hakeem in the in the booth, Hakeem doing the most with the least as usual. Mm -hmm. Now Blake, he he's he's excited. Yeah, he just he just wanna just, just spit wanna on the spit. mic. That's all he wanna do. He just wanna make some music. That's his passion. So have y'all ever had like an experience where something happens so organically, but then you have to turn around and do it for real, for real, and you can't figure out how to get that organic flow back the way it was so that it can be official official yeah that's what's going on with them now so they're trying to lay the track that they did down in at the basement party just the way that it was because the way that it was generated numbers and money yeah but Hakeem feels some kind of way because if they did it the way they did it down in the basement where he was trying to impress Tiana to get into Tiana's pants that would have made Blake the lead on this on the song exactly and Hakeem don't want Blake to be the lead on the song so Lucius came in and he basically told Sean he said you know just let them battle it out yeah let them do what they're going to do and see who come out on the top so that got them to reminiscing about how it used to be back in the day when him and Sean used to do these goddamn basement mm -hmm. parties and I said where we going with this where are we really going with this so come to find out that Lulu knew that Sean was the fire. Yeah. And he always kind of kept him benched. 
so that he wouldn't actually have some real competition out in these streets. But he yep. kept Shine close enough that Shine wouldn't be an immediate threat. Exactly. But he still could generate money, money. muscle, yeah. and talent. Mm -hmm. So I'm still sitting there like, what the hell is going on? And then I said, okay, sometimes we're dealing with Lulu, and sometimes we're dealing with Dwight, Dwight and Color. And we just never know when. And we yeah. don't know when yeah, they... Yeah, we never know when. They, they, they starting to kind of blend together now. Yeah. So I'm sitting here like, okay, so... Okay, maybe Lulu is going to give Shine the props and... The, and the opportunity that he should have gave him years ago. So he said, you know what? Why don't you go in the booth and, and, sh and show these young bloods how the fire is really laid? Oh. Okay. I said, okay, Exhibit, go ahead and do what you do. He gets on there. You can tell he's older and he's a little bit more fluffier. Yeah. So they had to do this in auto yeah, tune. Auto -tune just, <laughs> and they you know, had... just enough. Give him a little bit more travel, a little bit more days, you know, turn it on. Yeah. But he ripped it though. Oh, yeah. because he... But you could see the jealousy on Lucian's face. I said. You could see it. The only thing he could do when it was over go like this. And I said, something right there. Just did something to my yeah. spirit. Uh -huh. And I said, okay, there's, there's something going on in the water. So then we see Cookie. Cookie goes down there to pay Tiana a visit. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Tiana need the sugar skit slapped out of her. You hear mm -hmm. what I said? One of those what Wyatt Cryer did to his mama last night ah. on the have and have not come by child. And she slid across the floor. Like somebody say, slid across the floor like a 757. <laughs> she need to have Tiana sliding across that dead on floor on yep. that bang that she got. Tiana was like, I knew that you would pay me a visit at some point. Where is Eddie? Yeah. Cookie said, you know what? Eddie's not here no more. Bad for business. He was bad for business. And honey, what he was going to do was build you up just to break you down. And that's exactly what he's going to do too. Yeah. So basically she said, we cut out the cancer. Now, you know, yes, you are number one in your own right. You are a talent. Mm -hmm. You are a force to be reckoned with. But he, I made a mistake. That's right. When I made him your producer. So I'm trying to right that wrong right now. Here she go. Eddie did more for me in six months than what you and Lucius have ever done for me. I said, Cookie, where's the bro? Uh, yeah, get the, yeah. Just like you hit our king. Well, people feel, I'm, I'm just going to plug this in here. Go ahead. People fail to realize is that you have a group of people or persons that will help you get to a spot in life. And if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't even be where you at right now. Mm. Then somebody else comes along and they take you way over the top and get you to where you want to be. That don't give you a right to spit on the ones that got you to where you are right now. Because if they didn't get you to where you is right now, Eddie wouldn't have been able to do skit. And for you. First thing I would have did, I would have said that mic that that that's mine. Yeah, that's mine. Yeah, this this studio right here. All, all me. that. That's me. So get your raggedy hind parts out there on them streets. Yeah. Because what you're not gonna do is disrespect me in my house. She basically dismissed Cookie. And I said, Cookie. Tell me, I'm glad that y'all finally thinking about me. Like, all the opportunities that they done gave you. Okay. All right. It's like an ungrateful child. <laughs> don't know when you when you are blessed. I don't have them problems. Yeah. Thank you. I used to. You, ha you had a child? No, I'm talking about... <laughs> <laughs> When I was growing up, I wasn't grateful for the stuff that mom and them was doing for me because I didn't understand the sacrifice and the time and the effort it took for them to raise me as a man. Facts. Yeah, I didn't understand it. I understand it now. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Hindsight is what? Quanti, quanti. Yes, God. So we see Maya. Maya is Pound Cake's daughter. Maya comes up there to Empire. She's trying to get in and of course, conveniently, Cookie is walking through. So Cookie was like, Maya, what's going on? Maya is really, really, really upset because she has received a letter. Remember the letter that Pound Cake had Cookie write um, to write for her? Because yeah. she was like, if I don't ever get to see my daughter, please give her, you know, basically my last words. So she got that letter, but she hadn't read it yet. But Maya is really upset and she's upset within her own right because she's like, this lady that gave me away that didn't want to have anything to do with me and she thinks her mother doesn't love her 
why is she trying to come into my mm -hmm. life at this point and undo some of the things that I have settled in my own spirit? Mm -hmm. I don't want to see her. I don't want to deal with this jailbird. I Just have leave alone. me alone. I am fine. There's nothing about me that is incomplete. I'm good. That was let me know because she was mad that she not good. She because you came up okay. there that That's meant that you, you were not good. good. You're not good. <laughs> Oh my God. So then we see Cookie go into this flashback of her and China in jail, you know, and Cookie was due to be released that next day. So they're reminiscing, they're playing cards and whatnot. And since Pound Cake is back on the inside, she's the out, you know, the odd man out because of what she did. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. rightfully so. Mm -hmm. You know, she she picked up poison. Yeah. So, you know, she's trying to talk to Cookie. She was like, Cook, you know, tomorrow's going to be your, you know, you're going to be released tomorrow. The day is your last day with us. And da, da 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 Here come China. Yep. She going home to see her boys, her kids. Something that you ain't never going to be able mm -hmm. to do. You ain't never going to see your child. See, China nasty. Yeah. But I can't even be <laughs> mad with her because she did something. Yeah. So all of that, that flashback is going through Cookie's head. And she's thinking to herself like, dang. That's about to be true because mm -hmm. Pound Cake is about to die. And I can't get this girl to turn around. And I made a promise to Pound Cake that I was going to mm -hmm. see to it that I would find her daughter. So all of this stuff is going to skip. So I'm sitting there like, I'm, you know, I'm feeling sorry for Pound Cake and all this stuff. And then we get another flashback. I'm probably moving ahead of myself. Sorry, you're doing good. Yeah. Thank you. You're doing good. <laughs> so have another flashback where Cookie... I'm trying to make sure I'm not placing it in the wrong place. Anyway, don't. That's all right. It don't matter. Cookie was having another flashback where she was on her way to being released. They was getting ready to do her processing papers. But what had happened before that was the guy doing what's his name? Bo. Bo came in there to do a random check. All now, right. why didn't anyone else feel that this was some kind of setup? Yeah. A convenient setup at best. Everybody had to put their hands up against the wall while they searched their cots. Well, conveniently, he found some drugs in Cookie's cot. That automatically gave her another five-year sentence. Okay. Cookie was like, you know, God, doing well. I don't know. Oh, y'all no ain't no cookie. I've been here for all these years, and you ain't never got nothing like that on me. So, they'll get ready to charge her. Everything that she was about to go through, uh-uh. You gonna stay in here with the rest. Pound cake came around the corner, and she was like, hey. That ain't cookies. It's mine. mine. They was like, you lying. Nah. She's like, yeah, it's mine. She said, it's mine. And I put it in there because I was thinking that by the time y'all would have found it, Cookie would have been out of here. Yeah. It's mine. So she did it in a way that Bo couldn't even say what he did because the rest of the COs was over there. So they had to put it on Pound Cake. Yep. Pound Cake got thrown in the hole. So that's where Cookie got the flashback. Cookie found Pound Cake before she was... um actually being processed to go out. She said, how in the hell did you get back here? She said, I've been here 17 yeah, years. I know how to pull a free string. And, yeah. and she told Pound Cake, you know, I'm so sorry you in this hole. You know, keep your head up. You didn't have to do that for me. She said, yes, I did have to do that for you. I owed you. I owed you. And she said, you go out there and you, you just spend forget time. about me. You forget about me. Find your boy, you know, go home to your boys. It's all good. So Cookie is having all of that on her. That pressure, man. That the yeah. reason that she is even free is because, is because of Pound Cake. cake. And um, Cookie had told Maya this because she had met her over there. At her, that's what I was looking for. She was met her over there at her dance class again. And Maya still wasn't feeling her. And she had to break her down and tell her, let me tell you the real, real about your mom. That's why I'm out. She's a solid one. Give you the real. But I want you to go see her. So after she did that, that's when Maya had agreed yeah. to go ahead and see her mom. Yeah. And I was like, okay, whew. But I said, is she going to be alive when she get that? Yeah, Lord that's mercy. what I was concerned with. I was like, nah, that's going to really mess me up if she be dead after all that. And the convincing. Because that was going to end up, that was going to mess her up even more. It was like, okay, I was resistant to going to see my mom. And maybe if I had gave in. Just a little bit sooner, I would have caught her. Right. But it still messed me up, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, Eddie. Y'all know Eddie wasn't going to go away that got done quickly. I knew that it was too freaking easy. Well, Thirsty came in. And, and first of all, 
Lulu been eyeballing and thirsty in a way that makes me uncomfortable. It's like she, like he don't trust thirsty no more. I don't know. Maybe it's because thirsty is working for Cookie behind Lucha's back. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole both, yeah, both of them doing it. So he kind of gave him the look when they was at the party. Yeah, like, but maybe the end. Okay. But somebody said in the comments too that they think thirsty thirsty might turn on him. I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah. You yeah. gotta have one person that you can just stick it through with. Yeah. So come to find out, Eddie is threatening to go to the board to tell them about him how he cooks up the books. books. And in order for him to shut his mouth, he want was it two, two million? Two million. They were yeah. having this conversation in one of the booths. Sean listening in. Yep. I was like, you dummy. Okay, whatever. They decided that, hey, we got too much heat on us right now. Jamal just killed somebody. We can't kill him. Mm -hmm. Our family got too much heat on us right now. So we just going to have to go ahead and, and pay, him and pay the man off. Lucius is having this conversation with Sean because he basically knew that Sean has been listening in on the conversation. And he told him, he said, you know what? I'm just going to have to pay this man off. And I can't believe that I would even do that. Sean was like, yeah, man, you yeah, never yeah. took me as the kind of person that will pay a man off. You from Philly. Yeah. How do you handle people like that? There are some people you pay and there are some but people man, you, you kill. Can. Which one you think this dude is? He was like, well, he from Philly. So, uh, uh, ding, ding, ding. So Thirsty came in and he said, I have a location on him. He's about to come in on a private jet. Lucia said, let's go ahead and have him meet at the hangar. We're going to take care of everything right there. Next day we know, him and Sean gave each other this look like, ha, ha, ha. Thurston said, on that note, because I'm your lawyer, lawyer. I'm going to excuse myself because y'all about to say something real criminal. Which which, <laughs> which we all knew that that was, gonna, that was, was a freaking set up right there because Thurston never, never, never leaves. leaves a, yeah, even though they talk crime all the time. You remember, <laughs> they went in the woods and buried on um, freaking, um, the, uh, uh, what the name is, uh, 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 Bonky. Bonky in the ground. Yeah, why you even back off then? <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, this is start to make to make a whole lot of freaking sense. I ain't gonna talk about Jamal. Um, yes, we are, because it was funny what you said while we were watching it. Jamal and his collective <clears throat> are having a whole, a whole session. Shit. I'm like, what? What is that? And Becky rolled up on him like, what the yeah. hell is going on, on in there? Stella said, what I said, y'all, if, if, if anybody was in, in the chicken chong, I don't know, I can't remember the exact part of the movie and what part it was, but you remember they was in there with all the instruments and guitars and stuff, and they was high as a kite, sounding a hot mess, but but only they was the only ones that thought it sounded good. Because <laughs> they were high as hell. Because they were high as hell. <laughs> so that's what Jamal was doing, and he told Becky, you need to keep this from my mama. I'm doing my thing. I will fulfill my, um my duty for the 20 for 20 but let me do me he said she said you know what i will for some diamonds and gold oh yeah you owe, owe me, me. <laughs> he said all right bonds i owe you so what else happened da -da 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 at tarmac right at the um hang Hanger. are we gonna talk about that right now no i ain't gonna talk about it right now tiana see this <clears throat> is where andre popped up like ghost from power we see that there's a secret board meeting being held. Hmm. It's Boo Boo Kitty. Tia. They don't drag Tiana in mm -hmm. on this. And the big lady that likes to be eating out in elevators. Edna. Edna. Or Edna. <laughs> <laughs> and Leonard. All of them are talking and they're discussing. Okay, Cookie came back too fast and too convenient to at his resignation. They are actually trying to plan to have all the board members vote that they do not accept at his resignation. Y'all know they can do that, right? They basically yep. can hold you hostage. Yeah. We've been in that situation before. Yeah. Yep. And I say the hell I am. I'm gone. You don't own me. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to stack it. Andre is listening to this whole thing and he know everything that's about to go down mm -hmm. because that guy doing Tiana is so thirsty to be it. She's so thirsty to be the Beyonce of Empire. You dummy. You gonna buy, you gonna cut off your nose to spite your face? Exactly. <laughs> and you don't even know Eddie like that. You you Eddie only been there for like what five months. And you ready to risk it all. Yes. And now the board is dumb. The board already know Cookie and Lucius. That even 
it, you know, that they forced his hand, that it ought to have been for a reason. So the board should have had Cookie and Lucius in there be like, we understand what's that going on, what's going on, that Eddie did this, and we understand it was forced. What's going on? But nah, they want to have secret meetings. Mm. In the dark. Yeah. <laughs> Where were they? But anyway, so we get over there to the jail and come to find out that at this point, Pound Cake, which her name was Sarah Lee, because <laughs> Maya it asked fits, her, what is yep. my mom's real name? Sarah Lee. I said, well, God, mm -hmm. it fits. Yeah. <laughs> Told her, said, you know, the nurse said, she's getting ready to transition. She's not talking anymore. She's not able. And she's kind of out of it. I was like, dang, I said, oh my God. man. So they get in the room and Cookie comes to be like, hey, baby, Pound Cake. And I was like, is she going to open her eyes? Is she going to do anything? So she did open her eyes. And she looked over and she saw her daughter. And you could see that her eyes brightened, brightened up, up. And mm -hmm. it was like, oh my God. Like, man. So, because Pound Cake couldn't talk. And Maya hadn't read the letter yet. That guy doing cookies started reading the letter. And she said, you know what? I'm going to stop right here. Maya, why don't you continue to read the letter about what your mother had to say to you. So that she can hear your voice. Your voice. voice. Maya started reading that letter about traits of hers, things mm -hmm. that she liked and disliked and stuff that was connecting to her. If you have if you have anger issues and you real hot temper, it's you got that me. from me. If you don't like onions, you I got that from, from me. me. If you got a boyfriend, if I didn't make it to your graduation, dump him because yeah. you deserve better. I mean, <laughs> she, they're just having this whole moment from pen to paper. Maya's having a breakdown, but her mama can't even respond. Fine. And by the time Maya got to the end of that letter, she was snotting and crying. I was over uh, there snotting and crying. She lost it. And the next thing we know, so, Pound Cake. Tear coming out her eyes. That and she one was gone, tear. And she was gone. And she was gone. And Maya broke down and I broke down with her. And I, I said, said, why? Man. Why? And I said, why? all all of that because a prison guard wanted to steal some puss and cover his tracks. Now you and got this stole girl. her mama from her. That loved her to death. Mm. People are so selfish, man. And what you said, you said, and Maya never got to even hear her no, mom's voice. No voice. Never even got to hear her mom. And it was almost like it was almost like Pound Cake kind of knew that she might not be able to speak at some point. So that's why she did that letter. Hmm. So the letter was actually more powerful being read by the bedside than her reading it by herself alone because she would never had that that personal connection mm, mm, mm. I said I am done I said I'm about to lose can it can you imagine the meeting your mama on her deathbed mm -mm. as soon as done mm -mm. She, gone. she gone so you can't ask no questions you you she didn't get a hug oh. that's messed up man. all that because somebody was selfish a rapist a rapist it's you gone. stole that yeah. girl's life and basically put her into the care of a, of, a, of another person. I'm pretty slavery. Sure yeah, pretty much. Cause mm. cause it's always hidden. Mm. Yep. So we finally get to the hangar, right? Because Eddie was supposed to be flying into the hangar. Um, Lulu and Shine up in that booth having a whole reminiscent session about what they used to do back in the day, how they used to be wingmans, da 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 da. And when Thursday came in and told him about, you know. He coming in on the hangar. We're going to go ahead and set this thing up. And Sean had convinced Lucius to go ahead and you don't pay people like that. You end people like that. He said, well, for a case like this, I need a real wingman. Yeah. You want to roll? Of course, Sean is down the road oh, with yeah, something like, like that. that. Yeah. So they get down into the hangar. And Lucius is having this whole conversation about Sean, but acting as if he's talking, talking about Eddie. And I caught on real quick. I caught quick. on real quick. Especially when the dude kind of walked out the front. I was like, oh, shoot. Because that guard always stays in the back of Lucius. Yeah, because even Sean was looking was like, what the hell is he doing? I was like, ah. Oh. So he was like, you got guys that have been with you your entire life. You played basketball with baseball. Had birthday parties with. And now we come down to this. Where someone tries Smile to... Smile on your face when they try to kill you behind your back. It doesn't make any sense. So Sean was like, 
what we talking about, Lucius? He said, I know everything. I got confirmation that you were trying to kill me. I said, oh, oh. crap. And he said, so you brought me all the way out here to set me up? He said, uh-uh. You brought you out here. Yeah, you set yourself you up set all day. All day long, you put yourself in this position to be right here by my side, thinking you gonna kill Eddie. But uh-uh, it's your turn to meet your maker son. I was like, what in the name of God? So, you know, Sean, he quick with it. And Lulu quick with it too. I said, oh, so who gonna shoot first? Same time, motherfucker. The guard got his gun out on up Shine too. Lulu said, you know what? <laughs> Sean, I ain't gonna kill you. you. He was gonna... like, he was like, oh, okay. Bow, bow, bow. The security guard took Shine some move out. Yep. Lucius threw his guy doing scarf on him and was like, clean it up, clear the cameras. Call Cookie and say, Cookie, you know, everything is done. What you got going on? She said, I'm not good right now. I got right, something to take care of, but um, I'll be home in a little while. I said, oh, she's get, she gonna kill Bo. She gonna kill Bo. And when she was sitting in that car, it, she had that I'm gonna kill that motherfucker in her eyes. I said, she gonna kill it. But speaking of Bo, I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping, that Cookie and uh, Pound Cake, I can't remember her daughter's name at this point. Maya. Maya, I hope that they get together and get Bo put in jail. Yeah. They really do. Whoop his they got all the evidence. She been found there. She got the evidence. The evidence is right there. Give him a glass of water. Swab. Yep. <laughs> Send it away. Yep. That's all you oh, gotta do to Dana. Dana don't lie. Dana do not lie. And she could be like, I'm your. Yeah, he needs to be punished to the full extent of the law. Yes, God. Oh, let me not forget this. Remember when Sean was in the um, booth spitting fire on track? Lucius told him, said, I let you do that. So after you did, I'm still going to make making money off, off of you. you. I said, God, don't. All of that was a setup. All, All of, of it was a setup, setup to kill Sean. But Sean told him before he died, before he shot him, he said, I was only doing what your son ordered me to do because he was too punk and too soft to do it himself. So Lucius kind of looked like, what? What? So now he really knows. But he but, knew. But he, I mean, but. So that's why Andre, he really didn't well, shock Yeah, him. he didn't shock him because Andrea told me that I tried to kill you. So, yeah. so no, know. Cookie didn't go over there to shoot Bo, kill Bo. She went to go see her, her mama. mama. See, all these her. mama issues don't put her in a spot where she yeah. said, now I need to make it right with my own mama. And it went off from there. I Ain't said, that, God darn it. I said, this could have been a season finale right here. It could. It could have been mid-season. Yeah, this could have definitely been yep, mid-season to bring you back. But, man, it's crazy, though, how life works, though, man. It's like, Cookie said she won't going to never, ever have another relationship with her mama. But that situation right there. Messed her up. Let me go get it right with my mom because I might be in that situation. And everything might be a misunderstanding. Just yep. like it was with Pound Cake and Mom. All misunderstanding, yep. All right, y'all. Straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty south. Two, two up, up, two, two down. down. Holla.